Hello out there world, my name's Chris and I'm retired working for you. Carrying my flip-flops here on Koh Lipe. We're about to jump on this lovely boat here and do what you need to do when you come to Koh Lipe, which is go explore the areas, do some snorkeling. We'll get back to that in a minute, but first, we're at the foot of Sunrise Beach here. You've seen the place that we're staying at. So this video is gonna be more of, a, of an island overview, showing you some things to do, and of course, some good places to eat. Let me start by walking you up Sunrise Beach, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. This video is your ultimate guide to Koh Lipe, a tiny island that's only 2 kilometers tall and 2.5 kilometers wide. It boasts the clearest water in Thailand and is home to an array of tropical fish with 25% of the world's species living here. It sits just outside the boundaries of the Tao Tao National Marine Park, but it is unprotected, which has resulted in the difficult task of balancing development with ecological sustainability. Kolipe was first inhabited by the Chow Le people, otherwise known as the Sea Gypsies of Thailand. Due to its location right on the Thai-Malaysian border, the native language of these people was Rawi, a combination of Thai and Malaysian. The island has two main beaches, and the first one we're looking at is Sunrise Beach. It runs the entire length of the East Coast with plenty of resorts, beach bars, and even a local school. As the name suggests, it offers incredible sunrises, but you might be surprised that at the north end of the beach, every dusk, the smart travelers find one of the best spots on the island to view the sunset. You can't visit Koh Lipe without walking the entire length of this magnificent beach. Still here on Sunrise Beach, and check these little beach uh, bungalows out, little old school beach bungalows. Not sure how much these are, but uh, if you want some old school beach bungalows, you can find them. We're right here kind of in the center of Sunrise Beach. I just want to give you the look, the feel. Oh, look at the little doggy over here of, of Sunrise Beach here. Find the place that you love. We're staying for the record at the Mali Sunrise Resort, and I would highly recommend that place. So I'm here at a place called Benny's on the Beach, and this is right kind of in the middle of Sunrise Beach here on Koh Lipe. Uh, this is a great vegan vegetarian option if that's what you're into. We're not vegans or vegetarians, but we do like a good vegan and vegetarian place. And so we came here, if, if, hey, if you just want a beachside cocktail, this is also a good place for that. We ordered a Burmese tea leaf salad. Burmese tea leaf salad's an interesting flavor, an interesting taste. I'd recommend getting it when you share it with someone. Haley and I are gonna share that. We're gonna share some hummus. Um, it's kind of like a light lunch sort of thing here at Benny's on the beach. And this is a place that is worth sharing with you. If you ever make it all the way down here to Koh Lipe, you can come and enjoy it for yourself. So what the cap? Yes, delicious. Very good. Thank you, so 630 baht. And by the way, there was uh, four of us. We're with our friends, Pete and Nina. I had a coffee, they had some lime sodas, um, no alcoholic beverages, but we had a nice light lunch. And after that light lunch, we jumped on the boat and headed out to sea to do some exploring. was the beach but now we're offshore and we're out here with Captain Alex. How's it Hi. going Alex? It's very good. Nice. <laughs> so what's the plan today? Our plan today is 
no plan. <laughs> Our plan is no plan. I like how this man thinks, but uh, where are we? Uh, this is called Hingam. It's where people came on the on the island to see a beautiful rock on the another side. But the day when the big tide like this, the current too strong, you need to come on the back side of the island for snorkeling. This is beautiful and safe for you too. The the water in Kolipe, it's like nothing I've ever seen before in Thailand. It's super clear, super amazing. This is stop number one. We'll see where the afternoon takes us. So Pete, how was stop number one? It was okay, the coral was really nice, a little bit disappointing for the fish, we'd like to see more fish, but there was one fantastic shoal of coloured fish and with the sun shining on them, the colours really pop. And then let's contrast the wily veteran with the rookie, how was stop number <laughs> one? Fantastic! <laughs> Lots of fish? Yeah, I thought he's a lot of fish. <laughs> See the difference between the old veteran and the newbie? The, which one are you? Just around the other side of this island is a spot right here that you don't want to miss. So this is the second part of where we were just snorkeling, right around the corner is this outcropping of limestone that's been broken down and smoothed into these perfect limestone Oops, smooth rocks. Whoa. So they're super smooth. Still a little, it's like getting a foot massage out here. What do you think? It's beautiful, like look at this pebble. White and browny. As we explored this marvel of nature, the current picked up and the crew had to play tug of war with the boat just to keep it close to shore. Nina, how would you like that chin? Oh, absolutely amazing. It's really brilliant here. On the rocks. Yeah, definitely on the rocks. <laughs> Nina and Pete are both inspiring people and amazing travel mates. And at this next stop called Ko Dung, Nina jumped off the back of the boat and her and Pete swam towards shore. Only later did Nina tell us that this was the first time in her life that she had the courage to swim in the open sea. I mean, how cool is that? They made it to shore and had an entire island to themselves. Our intrepid traveler's back. Pete, have you had an idea? Yeah, I've got a light bulb moment. <laughs> what is this? Where yes. do you find it? I found it on the beach just over there. And it's um, a squid boat light bulb. They have these green lights that bring the, uh, the squid to the surface so they can catch them. the boat the uh, the lads have dropped anchor here so we're just uh, dotting the southern Andaman Sea with good times snorkeling and stretches of sand that are completely deserted I mean if these places were in Phuket and if this was in Koh Samui th th these places would be ram jammed with hordes of people but as you can see in front of me, it's just us here on Monkey Beach. Oh, there's a fish jumping by you, Haley. Haley's out there enjoying walking in the turquoise waters. Uh, this is a national park, so it's, uh, it's protected. And you can hear the dog behind us. <laughs> My buddy Pete swinging in the swing. He's a man that defies, he, he, he defies age 
dudes dudes in his 70s and just rocking life like nobody's business an inspiring fella and oh look at this coming up to the very end here Haley spent about a half hour exploring the tide pools at the end of Monkey Beach, and then we jumped back on the boat and headed to our next stop, where we would find the best snorkeling of the whole day. So Alex, where are we? Uh, got Hinson. Got Hinson? Hinson, And what yes. does this mean? Just like uh, the two rock, just put, uh, put it on each other. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's called Son. In this uh, rock, uh, in sun, yeah. Okay, and what do we call this in England? We call it Stonehenge. I call you Stone Sandwich. We're gonna suit up, we're gonna jump in this crystal water. We're, we're in the middle of a national park, about a 20 or 30 minute boat ride from Koh Lipe. Haley's ready to go. Yeah, I just go with it. Here's rare footage of the Cornwall dolphin, much more graceful than the Phuket seal, here in Stonehenge of Southern Thailand. here a beautiful beach gorgeous beach but it's halfway between the mainland and Colipe and so all the ferry boats that are coming over stop so we had thought that it was going to be like a, a deserted island experience and it's turned into a uh, well as you can see a, a Thai Instagram experience now I will say all of the boats are honking their horns now and I think a lot of these people are going to shuffle off onto the boats. We're going to stick around a little bit and I'll show you uh, if, this, if the dynamic here changes over the next little bit. But uh, it's really interesting because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere it feels like, yet it's the busiest beach we've seen all week. So this is the, the this is the feature here. This is the feature of the island. This is apparently the gates to eternal love. So if you come under and walk through these gates, you'll find eternal love. And what I'll say is that eternal love is in the fact that no one comes down to this half of the beach. It's absolutely empty down here. Oh, we've walked to the end of the beach and back. Lo and behold, the boats are, last boats are off in the distance departing. Oh, there's more people coming. And so we got going back to Colipe, back to Sunrise Beach where this whole boat day started. And that reminds me, I haven't told you about Lipe's second main beach. Let me do that before we have dinner. This is Pattaya Beach. Pattaya. But I never get that right and you guys always give me trouble for it. You can see right now Haley and I pretty much have this whole beach to ourselves. There's just not that many tourists back yet. I can't promise that you're gonna get the whole beach to yourself. The sun's not out right now so unfortunately I'm not able to show this place off as it deserves to be showed off but I bet I can use the magic of editing and put some photos over top that uh, show it in all its glory. This beach is lined with cool little beach bars, beach restaurants, 
beach resorts. It's not the cheapest place in Thailand, but it is beautiful. Uh, long tail boats, seafood, cafes, all kinds of good times waiting for you here. So this is Kolipe Walking Street in the daytime. The daytime is, is gonna be quiet here because the thing about Kolipe that you wanna focus on is the water, the sea, the ocean. Most people are out doing boat day trips like you saw us doing earlier. Now, um, oh, look at this. We're right outside this place here called Papaya Mom Restaurant. Let me just uh, flip, flip the light switch here and take us tonight. Okay, so this place is called Papaya Mom. Papaya Mom, a nice local Thai kitchen. So if you're looking for some seafood, some really good local Thai food, come check this place out. The best way for me to show it to you is to let this guy run with the music. And I'm just gonna walk you through this place and show you the vibes in here. I'll take you from here all the way out front and then you'll know what you're in for. So that's it all back there. And then as you exit, you come up here to where the grill master's doing all the grilling. Fresh seafood, all kinds of delicious stuff. So this is Papaya Mom. You probably see it up here, Papaya Mom. They got live music, they got fresh food. It's right here at the end of that street is Pattaya Beach. You walk up this way to get to Sunrise Beach. You go in here to get your seafood deliciousness on. So we're back on Sunrise Beach for sunrise. What's your final word on Koh Lipe? It's uh, basically paradise. The water is so clean. There are big, like, it's just beautiful. I would highly recommend that you come and check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. We're just gonna walk up the beach and enjoy the sunrise. <laughs>